Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This video is in response to one I did a while back regarding Kali Linux and does it have a firewall installed on it by default and does it need a firewall installed on it? So to answer the first question, well, I apologize. Let's work, let's work this backwards. The other question, the second question, which I believe is, uh, does Kali Linux need a firewall? Let's start with that one. Um, does it need a firewall to begin with? After, and, and the Kali Linux that I have installed on this computer, it is a live U USB bootable. Okay, that means that I copied the image, I put it onto a USB for it to be booted off of USB. And that's what this is. This is not a virtual machine. This is an actual uh, instance of Kali Linux installed on a USB. And then from there, I just uh, ran an nmap uh, command on it to check all the ports. And then after that, it showed that all the ports were closed. You'll see the output in just a moment. Shouldn't take too long. But that to me proves that um, Kali Linux is, is uh, secure by default. And I wasn't questioning whether or not it was secure. I was just questioning whether or not um, you needed a firewall for it. And I think, as a lot of you said in the comments, it, it's not needed and I can agree with that as by default um, it comes very secure as most most Linux uh, distributions do and to be honest with you that was not my original question even though I said is it needed um, obviously it's not needed um, so to answer the second question it, does Kali Linux come with a firewall? I couldn't find one, right? Not by default. Now, um, there are other firewalls. Um, I didn't find any on here. The only one that I'm familiar with that comes default on most Debian, if not Ubuntu-like distributions is UFW. UFW stands for Uncomplicated Firewall, right? And so, I did when I did a um, when I did a where is command, where is UFW, and I pressed enter. I did find this output right. I seen this file, and I believe it's a file and not a directory. But we can go ahead and see. Um, I don't think it is. I think it's a file, but let's see. UFW, right? Press enter. Oh, and we're in there. Okay, and look, it says applications D. Okay, so then let's go in that applications then. All right. And then let's look at that. Okay, so that shows three services. It shows a service for open SSH server it shows a service for the nginx web server and this is the s the samba protocol that's normally used for a communication between linux or anything else and windows uh, machines it's a protocol i do believe but it does not show anything as far as installing a firewall on it okay and so Let's do this. We'll just go CD back to our regular uh, the root the root directory of root. And so the next thing I tried was enable or I'm sorry, hold on. I tried to enable UFW. So I did UFW enable, press enter, and I got this command, which to me shows that. By default, UFW is not installed, and you do need to go ahead and install it in order to start using it. No big deal. If I'm wrong, or if I did something wrong, or if I forgot to do something that I needed to do, put it in the comments. I am very happy to learn something new if I've, if I've missed something, right? 
And so some of you may ask also, so what's the big deal? You just proved that Kali Linux doesn't need a firewall because it, because it comes secure by default, and it does, as most Linux distributions do. I will acknowledge that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with uh, Kali Linux or any other Linux distribution. I use Linux every day and have been for the past 10 to 15 years. However, I was curious though. Now, as you've seen, some of the services that are up, the Samba, the uh, OpenSSH server, and Nginx, I did also see other services and other um, servers that come installed, but they're not active, right? So, like for instance, not Network Manager, but let's check the status on Apache, because Apache also comes, it is also deactivated, not active whatsoever, right? So that's not a, that's not a big revelation. People understand that, people know that. You only need to activate it if you want to use it. My question is, if you do activate Apache or Nginx or even uh, SSH for port 22 for SSHing between it, would that not be a concern if you don't have a firewall up on it and, and, and activate it on it? That's my other question. Um, you could use that for any number of things, including with a database like MySQL or MariaDB for like juice. If you want to do some vulnerability testing, like on Juice Shop or um, I believe it's called DMVA, uh, Dam Vulnerable Application or Dam Vulnerable Web Application. So I guess that's, yeah, DVWA. I'm saying the acronym wrong, but it's like Juice, Juice Box. It's a, it's a web application that you can use for testing vulnerabilities and learning about different vulnerabilities and possibly APIs. Um, but what if you're using that and you want to keep it up for a while? Would that not also be a reason for having a firewall to protect it? Right? Or what if you're using it for seeing if you can... Uh, test to see if anybody's going to use it. Maybe you're going to put up your own application. Again, for network analysis only. This is all for, you know, for white hat hacking. Nothing illegal, nothing to do with black hat hacking. I was just curious. Um, please, if anybody has a question or if anybody has a comment, about my concerns or whether or not I'm just off base still or um, if they don't believe that none of this is still needed even if you uh, pull up applications that are going to be web facing. I'm curious as to what you guys think. Oh and by the way from my last video I appreciate the comments that I got from you guys on that video. Um, please continue to give me your comments. Please continue to give me um, your statements, your opinions, or what you guys do um, as far as Cali is concerned and as far as um, whether or not you think the firewall is still necessary or not necessary. So thank you for that. Um, I appreciate you guys looking at my video. I just wanted to uh, bring up those, um, those things that I had on my mind. So Thank you guys very much. Uh, I appreciate you guys looking at this video. You guys have a good day or night wherever you are. Bye-bye.